Hello everybody, Father John here from St. Lawrence Catholic Church. Most of you know I'm the pastor here, but many of you may be uh, tuning in to us through our website and uh, not know of us at all. We're a very friendly, hospitable, open, welcoming community of Catholic Christians here in Lawrenceville, Georgia. We invite you to be with us at any time. We've got something very special uh, coming up that uh, I want everyone who is watching me now to learn about. As you know, Thanksgiving is around the corner. Uh, we can see it, we can smell it, we can feel it in the air. Uh, the end of the calendar year is coming to its uh, close. It's at this time then that we become much more mindful of God's providence in our lives, and we then begin to feel this inherent need to uh, be sharers of the bounty we've received from Him and remember how good it feels to be generous. We all know what Thanksgiving Thursday is like. We gather with family and friends. We share a, a meal, a really big meal, sometimes eating too much. Uh, but all the while, we're thankful for all that we have uh, in life. And we recognize that God is the giver of all the things that we have that are good in this life. But then the sharing begins, doesn't it, right away? We're all familiar with Black Friday. We go out and we start sharing uh, this uh, bounty that we've received. It's the season of generosity gets kicked off. Um, as of late, we all have learned about Cyber Monday. It's the same kind of thing that continues, uh, but just within uh, the internet uh, community, I guess you'd say, uh, online purchasing, uh, again, being shares of the bounty that we've received from God with Thanksgiving in our hearts. But something that's relatively new to this spirit of sharing and generosity is called Giving Tuesday. Giving Tuesday is a day of giving to organizations, schools, churches, and other charities. Uh, and last year, we at St. Lawrence became one of those many Catholic organizations to which people could share generously what God has so generously provided for them. We did this through I Give Catholic. And St. Lawrence Parish will again this year be an I Give Catholic organization through which you and your family members and friends can participate in Giving Tuesday 2018. I mentioned that we here at St. Lawrence participated last year through I Give Catholic and our hope was then to be able to raise some funds to augment our evangelical outreach with some new audiovisual equipment also to uh, help with our live streaming capabilities, and to, we hope to maybe use some of the funds to beautify our Blessed Sacrament Chapel uh, with new wall covering, with some artwork, and some new kneelers for personal prayer. And well, we had no idea what to expect, much less how blessed we would be uh, because of the generosity of those who participated. I'll remind you, that of all the parishes in the United States who participated last year in I Give Catholic, St. Lawrence, yes, right here in our own little corner of God's kingdom, parishioners and our family members and friends raised the most funds for us. We were the number one parish with $40,003 donated on Giving Tuesday 2017. Now that blew our minds. And everybody, every parish, every pastor has been asking me what we did to make that success happen. And my answer has been simply that we have very generous people at St. Lawrence who know what it means to be thankful and to be generous in sharing what God has given them. So this year, I don't know, a lot of parishes and pastors are out there right on our heels wanting to beat us this time. And you know what? If they do, if they raise more money and dollars than we do, that is just fine with me, not a problem. Because my goal for us here at St. Lawrence isn't to be number one in that way. I mean, if it happens, great, but that wasn't my goal for us last year either. Rather, my goal for us is that you and I together, that we be very generous with hearts full of thanksgiving for what God has given each of us. My goal is for you to feel good by participating, by being generous, by being thankful in a tangible way. Now, you might still want a dollar figure. Okay, my goal is just like that of the old uh, Jerry Lewis telethon. So if you'll remember, uh, he always wanted to raise just 
one more dollar than was raised in the previous year. So let's make that our goal. Our goal for 2018 to be raising $40,004. Just one more dollar than last year. And let's have fun with it. Now, how do you play? That is, how do you participate? Well, here are your options. You can donate early from November 12th until the 26th, but then Giving Tuesday itself is November 27th, and you can donate from 12 a.m. all the way to 11.59 p.m. And you simply go to our parish website, www.saintlaw.org. You locate and click on the I Give Catholic icon and make your donation via credit card. Done, simple. And it's fun. I mean, you can keep up with the leaderboards throughout the entire day, checking in to see where we are at with, uh, re within reaching our goal and do so in real time. This year, we will again use any funds raised for non-budgeted items that will again enhance our church's beauty with art and architecture, perhaps a sculpture of the prodigal son, for example, by the niche that still sits empty over near our confessionals or bells for which our bell tower has been waiting for the last 10 years. Or we can increase our evangelistic capabilities of helping others to come to know Jesus as the Lord of their lives. With more outreach to the local community and training of ministers for evangelization. In any case, whatever we raise and however we use it, what is shared with us will benefit the mission that we have as the parish community of St. Lawrence where we are building a church of missionary disciples right here in the heart of Gwinnett County. We are doing this by joyfully preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ so that all who come here may experience God's love, that here among us, they may have an encounter with Christ that is life-changing, that they may then grow as his disciples and then become one with us, sharers of his gospel.